Bedlam, but added significance this evening. The largest crowd to ever see a basketball game in the state of Oklahoma, out to see the sensational freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma's Wayman Tisdale, averaging over 27 points a game. And Oklahoma State's Leroy Combs, a senior from Oklahoma City, averaging over 16 points a game. Get ready for Bedlam. Sports presents Big 8 Basketball. Tonight, it's the Oklahoma State Cowboys visiting the Sooners of Oklahoma. This game comes to you live from Lloyd Noble Center on the campus of the University of Oklahoma in Norman, Oklahoma. The officials for tonight's game, the Big 8 officials, are John DeBrow of Wichita, Kansas. John Leimbach of St. Joseph, Missouri. Rick Wolko of Boone, Iowa. The starting lineups for tonight's game. Here is public address announcer Mike Treps. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Big 8 conference game between Oklahoma State University and the University of Oklahoma. Here are the starting lineups. First of all, for the visiting Cowboys, at one guard, number 42, Matt Clark. At the other guard, number 22, Lorenza Andrews. At center, number 32, Leroy Combs. At forward, number 55, Raymond Crenshaw. And at the other forward, number 20, Bill Self. And now, introducing your Oklahoma Sooners. At one guard, number 20, Bo Overton. the other guard, number 40, Chucky Barnett. At center, number 50, Big Time Jones. At forward, number 10, David Little. At forward, number 23, Wayman Tisdale. They say the capacity here, Gary, is 11,500, but I have a slight hunch looking around the Lloyd Noble Center here that there might be just a few more. The Oklahoma State Cowboys. 13 wins, two losses, one and one in the Big Eight. The Oklahoma Sooners, 14 and four overall, also one and one in the Big Eight. Tisdale will jump against Combs. The tip goes to Oklahoma State. Hitting the first bucket of the game is Lorenza Andrews, the Oklahoma City senior. And one of the important things for Oklahoma State Cowboys, and they got a two-point lead, is to get off to a good start, not fall behind here on the home court, let this crowd get into the game. So Bo Overton with the ball. He's directing the attack. He tried to beat Tisdale underneath. Out of bounds. Oklahoma State. Looks like oh, this is Matt Clark. He's the playmaker. They're covering Crenshaw on Tisdale, and he's quick. He's a good defender, and he has the ability to stay out of foul trouble, which will be important for Oklahoma State. They really go only six deep. Holmes had his shot blocked by Tisdale. Well, he leads the Big Eight in shots blocked. He leads Oklahoma, of course, in shots blocked, and he's just a tremendous player. Overton. Working against Andrews. There's Tisdale. Won't go. Little. David Little. 
averaging almost 20 points a game, ties the game at two. Little has a knack for the basketball. He always seems to be around the loose ball. Traveling. Three of the Sooners were there, including big Charles Jones. And as a result, turnover, Oklahoma State possession. But, but it's one of the turnovers that a coach doesn't mind. He has three guys hustling for the basketball. You make one like that, it isn't near as bad as if you just turn it over with a bad pass. Andrews hits his second bucket. Andrews showing some outside scoring punch. Haven't thought of him as a scorer from outside, but this year he's averaging 14 a game and uh, has shot the first two down from good range. Looking for Tisdale underneath. Crenshaw was on Tisdale. Another turnover. This is Bill Self, the sophomore from Edmond. That's a good matchup uh, there, Self, on Dave Little. Dave Little has four inches on Self at 6'3". Andrews won't go. Sooners trying for the fast break. Chucky Barnett. There is a patented Chucky Barnett breakaway. He's led this club in slams on breakaway the last few years. Of course, with Tisdale, uh, he's not going to lead him in slams anymore. But Barnett has not played well. He's getting his second consecutive start. He's had an injury and missed five games. There was really tough work underneath. That was Leroy Combs in heavy traffic scoring and a chance at a three-point play. Uh, Combs is a great jumper underneath. He's a quick jumper. You see him right there above everybody. Takes it down, comes back up, struck, pumps it right there, gets Little down. Little might have had a chance to block it, and then Tisdale comes across. And I think the foul was committed by Tisdale. Tisdale gets the first personal of the game. Combs completes the three-point play, and the uh, Cowboys lead 7-4. Ada Oklahoma's Bo Overton working against Andrews. Both teams sticking with tenacious man for man. Oklahoma's kind of switched offenses back and forth. There's, oh, there's a jam. Oh. Tisdale, who averages over 27 points a game, number three in the country, individual scoring, has his first bucket. Here comes Barnett. No. Gets it back. Charging foul. Or traveling. I think it was traveling call. I think it was a travel call. You see right here. Good follow-up. Did not get the block of Barnett. Right there, he takes the walk. And away, and Oklahoma State will play in it from inbounds as we come back live. Matt Clark and Andrews. Back. Partial block of a shot. I think it might have been Tisdale again. No, it was Barnett. Barnett got it. Overton. The senior out of Ada, Oklahoma, averages 10 points a game. Oh, what a move! Oh, fantastic move. Lorenzo Andrews, six points already, and that was just a great athletic ability. David Little has his second bucket of the game, and this game is off to a breakneck pace. Partner, this is what we expected, isn't it? Up and down the floor. I don't think anybody's going to be called for lack of action in this basketball game. Bill Self, Matt Clark, intimidated by Tisdale. Combs now. Beautiful feet underneath. Matt Clark has his first bucket, but what an assist by Combs, and what got that assist going was when you go up, the defense started to turn and check off, and then he dropped the ball down deep to Clark. Little. The foul is on the defending player, so Bill Self draws the personal. And I think as we look again, you'll see the tail end of this, but Little actually drawing the foul. He went for the foul, kind of jumped into the side against Self, as you see Self laying back, trying to beg for a for a charging foul, doesn't get it. Little goes to the line for two free throws. We've played two minutes and 18 seconds. We've already had 21 points scored. When play resumes, and I'm not really certain as to the reason for the timeout here, but at any rate, it's uh, not a full timeout. The senior from Abilene, Texas, David Little at the line to complete a three-point play. Seven points for Little. 
I beg your pardon. He didn't get the field goal. Little, a tremendous offensive player. Won the Big A Conference scoring race last year, but finished second overall to his teammate, Chucky Barnett. So, 12-11, the Sooners lead. Let's pause for these messages. Bits of information you may not know about presented by Metro Sports on behalf of the Big 8 Conference. There are publicity efforts at each Big 8 institution, and they're supervised by a sports information director and his staff, and we rely heavily on them. In addition, the conference operates its own service bureau. It's directed by Bill Hancock, and they coordinate conference public relations. We're off to a dynamite start. Oklahoma leading by one. Oklahoma State with the ball. This is Matt Clark. Bill Sell. Holmes working the baseline. Pinsdale rebound. Overton looking for the fast break, but it wasn't there. And I think the presence of Tisdale right there on Combs. Combs can jump and leap, but he shot that ball a little quick. Great rebound by Combs. Stell. Wouldn't go. Renshaw hit the floor. Overton feeding Little. Oh. Number two on Bill Self trying to guard Little. Well, he's got a tough task. Self, a sophomore out of Edmond, Oklahoma. Watch him come across. Let's Little beat him across and get shape. No doubt about him committing the foul there right across the arms of David Little. And he goes to the line again for those two free throw opportunities. There will be a substitution. Charles Williams, the Dill City sophomore, will replace Self. Little has two field goals, two free throws, make a three. Oklahoma coming into the game, a slight favorite, leads by two with exactly 15 minutes to play in the first half. Like giving this guy two, two, and you put him on the free throw line. He's almost 84% from that charity strike. Andrews and now Matt Clark. Great Fisdale loss. batted it away. Back Oklahoma. out to Andrews. They'll try to set up again now. I was going to say, Oklahoma State got what they wanted that time on the offensive end. They got Combs on Tisdale, and he's been reversed. And they're really challenging inside, but Combs cannot come away with the basket. Tisdale comes away with the ball, and he is a totally intimidating force. Overton. Turnover. Off Tisdale. Oklahoma State trailing by three. Oklahoma State has lost only twice at Louisville and at Missouri. Holmes oh. really working that time, going the baseline, switched to the left hand, could not get it, but he is really charged up and I think ready to play against as much publicized freshman. 14-13, five points for Combs. Tisdale. Imagine him being just a freshman. Chucky Barnett, who took that shot, has not had a good year shooting the basketball, only about 43%. But I mentioned he's been hurt. And that's a fact. We're not getting as many shots. Little. As this year. Hard play, and Little has scored 10 points. Oklahoma leads by three. Watch that last effort by Little. As I said, he's always around the basketball coming up. And I think it's Jones who keeps that ball alive. And Little comes in there, lays it an underhand scoop off the board for two points. Back live. Battle under the boards is tremendous, and Fisdale again comes away with it. Now Overton working against Lorenza Andrews, Chucky Barnett. Jones out high, now Barnett. Whoa! Barnett has his second bucket with that aggressive move, and Oklahoma State wants to ask for a timeout. 18-13, the Sooners. 
Lloyd Noble Center is in pandemonium. We'll be back with more Brigade basketball after these messages. This game are granted by the Big 8 Conference to Metro Communications Incorporated. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this telecast have been selected by Metro Communications Incorporated in consultation with the Big 8 Conference. Gary Thompson, the battle under the boards has been everything we were led to believe it might be. Well, it is really tough under there physical and uh, Combs uh, a slender guy, but he's strong and he jumps well and I'm impressed with Tisdale inside so far too. Holmes, Holmes worked his way free along the baseline and now has seven points. 18-15 Oklahoma. Now Combs leads this Cowboy Ball Club in scoring and oh, oh, oh. Holmes, good position in front of Tisdale. Good inside position by Tisdale that time, checking off Crenshaw. Tisdale working always underneath. He's being guarded right now by Crenshaw. Little UCLA type of action that time. Uh, Sheer brute strength. Tisdale has his second bucket. Oklahoma leads by five. Matt Clark stolen by Overton. Goaltending, Overton gets the bucket. Oh, a beautiful steal by Overton that time. He's got the steal coming down, filling the lane as Barnett. He looks one way, lays it up, and here he comes, Lorenzo Andrews up off the board, and Lorenzo can really jump, but that time called for the goaltend. This is Charlie Williams, who came off the bench. Battle underneath, and the foul is on... I think it's going to be on Jones. For Jones, his first personal. Substitution, Tisdale will get a rest. Calvin Pierce, the Chicago, Illinois junior, 6'6". He's played quite a bit. He's averaged over seven points a game. Ray, in fairness right there, he played extremely well early. The conference games, Pierce has not played that well. Early, he was giving him a solid 20 minutes, averaging about seven points and almost five rebounds in that 20 minutes of action. Jones picks up a quick second foul. See the back of Jones there, a transfer from uh, McLennan Community College in Waco, Texas. As a junior college player, he averaged 15 points and 15 rebounds. Billy Tubbs there walking away, shaking his head. Crenshaw, now Andrews. Matt Clark. And the ball comes in bounds. We got Oklahoma setting in the zone right now for one time. Matt Clark has his second bucket, and it's 22 17. The lead pass for Barnett. Go over to. Jones. Mejia, Texas senior, has his first bucket. 24-17, Oklahoma. Crenshaw. Good work by Combs. Matt Clark. Clark likes it inside. He likes to get inside. He has great ability to maneuver with the basketball in tight. Combs. Nine points for Combs, 24-19 Oklahoma. Billy Tubbs, the head coach of the Sooners, in just his third year, has really turned their basketball fortunes around. He certainly has an assistant, Mike Newell, there discussing the strategy and how to cut off Combs inside. Oklahoma's David Little will inbounds the ball, and there's Billy Tubbs' counterpart, Paul Hansen, in his third year. Big 8 coach of the year in 1981. to get the ball inside to Pierce, and they do, that in the way. Lead pass, foul on Overton. 
There's the action. See the steal right now as Paris goes in. Lorenzo in, reaching in. This pass was just a little soft right there. Clark had to wait for it. It had let him a little bit more. He would have got free and had the layup. Possibly a three-point play. The way it is, he'll have to go to the line and make the two. Four team fouls at Oklahoma at the line. Matt Clark shooting two. Five points for Clark. Oklahoma's lead is down to four. Overton comes out of the game. Jan Pennell, Washington, D.C. Jr., replaces him, number 11. Second free throw for Clark. Little. Oklahoma State sticking with the man for man. Oklahoma showed a variety of offensive sets. They, they went to a three out, two underneath. They've been in a one four and a high low, just a, a number of things. They, Oklahoma State appears to be not afraid of Pierce's outside shooting. They can stay off of him. Last touch by Andrews, out of bounds, Oklahoma. 8.59 to play, first half, Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 20. Sooners with the ball, David Little. Leading score in the game with 10 points. Pennell now will replace Overton as the point man. Little, free. Somebody got picked on the baseline, and you cannot give that young man freedom or room because he will knock the shot down. Andrews. Good move after Charles Williams. His first points of the game since coming off the bench. Tisdale, after getting about a two-minute rest, comes back into the game. Wayman Tisdale, the freshman from Tulsa, 27.2 points a game. Four-point lead, Sooners with the lead and the basketball. Pennell. Barnett. High post is Pierce. Tisdale roaming the baseline. Little. Barnett to Little. Follow up by Pierce. Calvin Pierce, the Chicago junior. Andrew. His fourth bucket. Lorenzo's really into the game offensively, and particularly from outside. I've known him in the past. He really likes to penetrate and get inside and go on the drive. Always looking for Tisdale. Little. Oh, boy. 14 points for Little. And a mistake by the newcomer there, Charles Williams, the transfer. You've got to close out Little. You cannot give him room because he has three-point range. Leroy Cohn with 7-16 left to play in a fast-paced first half to score. Oklahoma 30, Oklahoma State 24. Pause for these messages. Gary Thompson and I, next Tuesday evening, the 1st of February, will be with you for the next Big 8 basketball game when the Kansas State Wildcats Go up the road to visit the Oklahoma State Cowboys at Stillwater. That's on most of these Metro Sports stations. I hope you'll join us. Oklahoma 30, Oklahoma State 24. Out of bounds, Oklahoma has the ball. Pennell will bring it up. Tisdale, Little, Pierce, and Barnett round out Oklahoma's personnel. Barnett. Get up, baby. Self. To Matt Clark. The bucket won't go, but that's team foul number four on Oklahoma. Number five, rather. Great two on one work on the break here. As you see, Matt Clark will go to the side to Andrews, who gives it right back. Matt Clark will take it up. Little coming from behind, commits the foul. Matt Clark will go to the line for a couple. Barnett will leave. He'll be replaced by. 
Bo Overton at the line. Matt Clark, one of two free throws. One more. Now one of three. Five points. What's funny about the free throw is a good look at Matt Clark. Field goal percentage, I was going to say 57%, but his free throw only percentage only 63.8. 30-25, Oklahoma. Pinnell, Overton. Pierce. Don't hold, don't hold. Beautiful baseline work. Pinnell, you see him there, got great quickness and speed. And flexibility with his Oklahoma club. You see Pinnell now running the club as a point guard and Overton sliding over into the shooting spot. Crenshaw. The foul is on Pinnell. Now that's team foul number six on Oklahoma. And Billy Tubbs is up off the bench. The Oklahoma coach. His third year here at the Sooners. He had a great career at Lamar. I think he was something like 75 and 46 before he joined the Sooners. Raymond Crenshaw has not scored. The Pritchard Alabama junior has been averaging over 13 points a game. Ray, that 13 a game is up considerably. He's had a tremendous year offensively. He was only averaging about 5-4 a game last season. And I was talking to their staff, and he said he's just been much more aggressively shooting the basketball, looking for the shot this year. Oklahoma by six. Six and a half minutes left first half. This is Overton. Pierce. Pinnell. Overton. Tisdale. Holmes comes away with it to Matt Clark. Andrews did not appear to be under control, Gary. As I viewed that play, we'll see it again. But I felt like Andrews should have come back to the middle. They got a trailer coming in here. I think it was Combs. Right now, he could have dropped off and got the ball down there and probably had the layup. As it is, he leaned in for the shot and got called for the charging foul, or offensive foul. That's team foul number three on Oklahoma State. Six minutes left now in the first half. David Little, who's been the scoring star of this game. Tisdale has been lifted to four points. And they are, to all intents and purposes, double-teaming Tisdale all the way. With Crenshaw. And they play uh, Crenshaw on a kind of a high side post on him, and then they'll try and get help from the weak side. They're away from the ball. Pierce oh. underneath. Matt Clark. Foul on Overton. Here you'll see the action. Pierce going in. He's actually second on this team in dunks to Tisdale, only trailing him by three. You'll see him go up. The ball gets batted away. No call right there. He came down to the other end, and Overton picked up the foul. And it's and a bonus situation. One and one. Matt Clark. Possibly missed by Clark. So Oklahoma still clings to that six-point lead. Oklahoma State that time going back the kids did not have their heads turned they had a good chance to uh, to get an interception because there was a loose basketball Overton Six points for Overton and he has that outside range before he finishes that shooter. There's an air ball Leroy Combs picks up the easy bucket 11 points for Combs 34 28 he's five a player. minutes left first half Lloyd Noble Center, campus of the University of Oklahoma. Hope you're enjoying the action. There he goes again. No. So, good job right there, getting the ball in the middle, three on two. Matt Clark finds up with the ball. Leroy Combs. All of a sudden, we have a four-point game. Little did the best thing he could do right there. It was three on one. He tried to take the charge. He faked it a little bit. If he had not 
to fake the play. I think he might have got the call. Pierce, now Tisdale. Tisdale has his third bucket. He got his body into the defensive man that time where he could not get up with him. He just went right over the top. What the action. The pace, I say, has been so tremendous. I just think the coaches didn't need to say anything. The players themselves said, hey, let's slow it down. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State takes a look at a somewhat passive defense and decides, let's hold it for a minute. We've got Oklahoma showing zone looks there right now. We'll see. Two, three zone at the moment, it looks like. Needless to say, the crowd here will get very <laughs> vocal about this. That, that familiar word comes out boring, boring. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, it depends on your point of view. Should the team in the zone come out? Paul Hansen said to his players, Hold it on him. Now it looks like there'll be some movement. Oklahoma comes out of that zone. And Self missed everything. Overton. Lorenza Andrews. Holmes. A great feed inside by Andrews, though. I tell you, he did a great job. There was not much room to get that ball in. It was a great pass. He lost control of it, batted it on the loose ball, and still got the ball down. Smart play by Pierce there. The ball was bouncing up. He was up there high, wanting to take a look at it. Had he hit it, it would have been basket interference. He let it go. They got the bounce for two. 220 left in the half. Great pass. Beautiful pass. Crenshaw has his first shot pointer. Three points overall. 38-34, Oklahoma. Two minutes left, first half. Pierce, Little looking for Tisdale. I think the pace right now on both ends defensively, the kids seem a little tired, and the defense is lacking right now. The intensity and the toughness of defensive play isn't quite there. They have been going up and down the floor for 18-plus minutes, and I'm sure these kids got to be tired. A foul is called on Crenshaw, his first, fourth team foul. One minute, 41 seconds left to play in a super first half of action. We'll have more Brigade basketball from the University of Oklahoma after these messages. When play resumes in a second for Oklahoma, You'll see 6'4 senior from Indianapolis, Chucky Barnett, who started the game, number 40, back in the contest. 141 left to play first half. The Sooners have led most of the way, but have not in any fashion pulled away. Out of bounds, Oklahoma basketball. Now, Ray, conditioning, we're talking about getting up and down the floor. They're basically playing six or seven men at the most, both teams. Conditioning of the, getting into the second half may be the deciding factor. Two great defensive plays at either end of the court. Right. Quick hands by Pinnell, save two. Little. What a turnaround that is. That's like a four-point play. You miss two on one end, get two back up on the other. So it's Oklahoma by six. Little has been little short of sensational. 16 points for Little. Exactly a minute now left. This is Bill Self, Lorenza Andrews. Paul Hansen come out in motion. I think they're going for one, or if they get a chance for a back cut, if Oklahoma comes out, get that mark. Matt Clark now with eight points, and it's 40-36. Sooners, Billy Tubbs, the Oklahoma coach, shouting out to his team, wait for the one shot. Pierce, Barnett, Pinnell, Tisdale lurking underneath. Sometimes, Ray, you get shooters, good shooters, that put the ball up. It's kind of tempting. It's hard to wait for that one. They'll let it go a little early. 24 seconds left in the half. 
Sooners with the ball. Sooners by four. David Little. But it's that type of discipline that you have to have if you're going to be a championship ball club. You play good, sound, fundamental basketball. Ten seconds. Pierce. Oh, truly fouled by Pierce. Pierce commits his first foul, but with three seconds left in the half. Bonus situation. Look at what happened. See, Pierce makes a good drive here. They come in, check him off. The ball goes up. It'll get knocked around. Everybody to the boards. Watch Pierce now. No chance and grabs that. This is where you got to be thinking. You're going for the last shot. If you don't get the shot, so what? Do not let the other team go down. And now they get a good momentum play if Combs can get a couple free throws down and go in trading only by two. Combs is two of two at the free throw line. The irony of Combs, he's shooting better from the field, 62.5, than he is from the foul line, 57-7, but he gets two. Oklahoma by two, two seconds, one second, no. A collective sigh from Gary Thompson <laughs> and myself. What a first half. We've reached the end of the first 20 minutes of action. The score, Oklahoma 40, Oklahoma State 38. We'll be back with our halftime activities after these messages. As the on-court antics take place, this question of Gary Thompson. How did they shoot? How well? Who did the individual scoring? First, the team statistics. When you look at there, Oklahoma State, who's been the number one shooting team in the country, 56.4%, but they have struggled a little bit in the first half, about 46%, 45.7 to be exact. Oklahoma hitting a hot 53%. And uh, the rebounds, Oklahoma State, even though they've got some leapers, have had trouble rebounding with some clubs this year. They trail Oklahoma 19 to 15 in the rebound department. And an interesting statistic, I think, as much as you've gone up and down the court at the fast pace that this game has been played at, only four, four turnovers for Oklahoma and seven for Oklahoma State. That is very good basketball in this type of game. The individual leaders. Well, Leroy Combs is the leading scorer in the first half with 17 points for the Cowboys, followed by David Little, 16 points. Two different type of scores. Little from the outside, Combs on the inside. Good support there for Combs from Matt Clark with eight. And Lorenzo Andrews, who hit from the outside in the early going and got the Cowboys started. Wayman Tisdale below his average here at halftime as they have held him to eight points. And that's something that Wayman's not used to, is only coming away with eight at halftime. What do you expect? from Oklahoma defensively. Now, they started out man for man. Billy Tubbs, as I understand it, likes that, but he did switch to his own. Well, we, we talked about uh, maybe the fast-pacedness of the game, and they were getting inside, and maybe an effort to cut in that inside, cut off that inside game of Oklahoma State may be one reason why he went to his own a few times. We'll have the start of the second half between Oklahoma and Oklahoma State after these messages. Spectators here at tonight's game. A couple of friends of yours, Gary, we know are here looking at some of the talent. Pete Newell and Forty Anderson, two of the great names in basketball over the last few years. Any particular player do you think they might be looking at amongst the seniors? You know, these scouts are kind of secretive. I tried to quiz them as I uh, saw them come in in the airport as I was waiting for you. And they said, well, we're just looking at players in general. <laughs> you know, they're not going to give any information out. But uh, I'm sure they're impressed with several players here tonight and their ability to get the ball in the basket. At any rate, we're just about ready to go. If you just happen to join us, I'm sorry, because you missed a tremendous first half. Oklahoma, 40. Oklahoma State, 38. Oklahoma State, 13 and 2 overall. Oklahoma, 14 and 4 overall. The teams are one and one in Big Eight conference play, so I don't need to tell you how important it is. And when you talk about those losses, I think it's important to point out Oklahoma State has lost two. Their losses have been to Louisville, Missouri, both ranked teams. Oklahoma's lost four. UNLV, Tulsa, North Carolina, and Missouri all were ranked or were ranked when they played them. 
So they've had outstanding seasons so far as you look at the Oklahoma staff right there. Billy Tubbs got that water bottle, a little pressure situation. <laughs> Put out the fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oklahoma will have the ball as we start the second half. 20 minutes of action remaining here on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. This is Bo Overton. As at the start of the game, he'll be the director of the offense, number 20. To Tisdale underneath, but he's fouled by Cole. That is the first foul on Combs. We didn't touch on that, but on the foul, but nobody is in foul trouble. The most anybody has is two fouls at this point in the ball game. So foul troubles, problems will not uh, cause anybody any damage here in the early going of the second half. Chucky Barnett, Overton, Oklahoma State has stayed with their man for man all the way. Overton. Clark comes up with it. Tisdale trying for the block. Fouls Lorenza Andrews. You could see Tisdale wait for that play. We'll see that Bo Overton penetrated that time. Nobody came off so he could pass it. He went up, did not get the shot. Long lead pass. Tisdale gets him with the body right there. He caught the ball, but no doubt about it there. He bumped him with the body. The Oklahoma City senior, Lorenza Andrews, eight points in the first half. Oklahoma State closes to within one, and we could have our third tie of the game if he converts this one. Tied at 40. Overton working against Andrews. Charlie Jones, Little, beats Tisdale. Look out! The field goal counts for Tisdale. There's a good lob pass right here, just over the outstripped uh, fingertips of Combs there. He'll come up, Clark comes in, he plants, he's got position. Tisdale tried to keep away from that play, and the foul could not. He had good concentration on the glass and got the basket. And for Tisdale, his third personal foul, the first player, either team, with that many. Oklahoma by two. Well, Tisdale picked up two in a hurry here in the second half. This is Self. Matt Clark. Tisdale winds up with the ball. Barnett. Using his body beautifully, Barnett puts the Sooners on top by four. And good vision by Overton that time to get the ball ahead to Barnett. Not a good shot, Ray, right there. That's a force for Andrews. Tisdale, lead pass for Overton. What a block. A tremendous block. You challenge the big guys, the Bo, and sometimes you get a knock back in your face. <laughs> Watch it. Bo is eyeing him all the way, looking him away, trying to get him to back off. Clark just waits for him. Great leaping ability and pure ball. Little. Barnett. Overton. Crenshaw has done an excellent job inside against Tisdale, denying him the ball. Little. Absolutely deadly. 18 points for Little. Oklahoma opens up a six-point lead after one minute and 47 seconds of the second half. 46-40 Oklahoma. We'll have more Big 8 basketball after these messages. An invitation to join us for that game next Tuesday, February 1st. Kansas State at Oklahoma State. That's on most of these Metro Sports stations. We've had three ties in the game, most recently at 40. But Oklahoma has reeled off six consecutive points, and what shooting from the field by David Little. Well, he's a tremendous shooter. Uh, he needed 30 points coming into tonight's game to become the third OU player to pass. He's got 12 left to get. He's got a chance to get it tonight. This is Self. Great board work by Crenshaw. 
and Leroy Combs follows. 19 points for Combs. What a job by Combs. Up over the top of the guy, does not commit the foul, and stuffs it. Jones seldom shoots, and they're sagging off Jones. And that's where they can get help when he goes high. Garnett to Tisdale. We had a foul, no field goal. They've got Combs on the left side. Well, watch as he drops off now. Combs with the left hand, goes to the side. Combs coming across to help, as we talked about. They'll come in and, and help uh, Crenshaw on the defense, but we'll get the foul there. And Tisdale, what's he doing from the free throw line? This is here? his first opportunity tonight. One more, one more. Tisdale has scored 10 points. And he's only a 62% free throw shooter, 0 0.5 as you see there, so his average could be better than 27 if he's a little bit better at the line. 47-42, Oklahoma. <laughs> Bill Self hits his first bucket of the game. Three-point lead, Oklahoma. Self does not have great quickness. If he can get open like that, he can hit the shot. And they need some offense outside, which will then help him to open back up that inside game of Cole. Overton. Jones for Tisdale. Tisdale. Now Tisdale making his presence felt. Five points already in the second half. What I like about him there is a young player. He catches the ball. So many young kids want to put the ball down the floor. He catches it, takes it right up. Does not let give people a chance to swarm inside and get the ball away. A holding foul on Oklahoma State's Lorenza Andrews, his second. A lot of action as we come off the board. David Little again around the basketball. Lorenza Andrews coming in, commits the foul. Oklahoma possession, 16.45 left in the game. Oklahoma five-point lead. Little working against Self. Barnett, Jones. Second bucket for Charlie Jones. Seven-point lead. Jones rebounds, the miss by Cole. Lob was just a little short. It was coming down. He could not get it up and over. If it had been higher, it would have been a stuff and an easy two. Little drives. Tisdale with a tap in. And all of a sudden, it's a nine-point lead for the Sooners. Paul Hansen says, let's talk it over. With the score, Oklahoma 53, Oklahoma State 44. Let's pause for these messages. We have a message on behalf of the Big 8 Conference from Metro Sports. Little items uh, that you may not know about. For example, Big 8 publicity directors are active nationally in the College Sports Information Directors of America. Don Brand of Nebraska, past president of the organization. Others have served on important committees, all to ensure excellent promotion of intercollegiate athletics. Billy Tubbs, Oklahoma Sooners, lead by nine. Biggest lead of the game. The Sooners led by two at halftime. Oklahoma State with the ball. And it looks like Oklahoma's back into a zone. Matt Clark. Nine, ten points for Clark. He's not a good outside shooter. They tell me this year that he's been hitting the shot pretty well outside. Oklahoma. Overton. Crenshaw comes up with the rebound. Oh. Offensive foul. Number three on Combs. I think a pretty good job by Little acting right here. I don't think it was much of a bump. Watch it. Combs comes down, starts a little bit. And little hollers, you see his mouth go open. He gave a lot right there, and that's probably what got him the foul. It reminds me a little bit of that punter <laughs> in football that does the pirouette and gets a roughing the kicker. Jones. I guess Jones is out there. Tisdale going to work. I've got him for 17 now. He had eight and a half, so he's got nine points right. in the first five minutes. 
Crenshaw over Little, won't go. Holmes fouled for Overton. That is number three. Oh, Hanson up, one and two. Here's Crenshaw going up high. Little bothering him right there. Comes off the bracket. Watch Combs go up again, and now Overton will cut him right across the arms, and Combs goes to the line for two. Ray, so I don't get some uh, former Oklahoma players mad at me, and probably Barnett off his curve team. I'm explaining, when I was talking about Little going for 1,000 points, only three players do it. That's in two seasons. They've got a number of kids that have made 1,000 points here over their career, but He'd be the third kid, uh, Alvin Adams and Don Seidel, to get 1,000 points in two years. Cole. <laughs> 21 points for Leroy Cohn. 55-48, Oklahoma. The Oklahoma State bench wanted possession. Billy Tubbs <laughs> upset. Maybe he thought that was going to be given to Oklahoma State. I don't know. Pinnell is in the game, number 11. Little feeding Pinnell. Lorenza Andrews, Matt Clark. Oh, jump! Oh, jump! Oh, jump! Right back. One, Pinnell. Oh, what a play and a oh. break. Chucky Barnett. Well, this is worth looking at again. Pinnell likes the transition game. He'll come down, give it off, steps up, right pass, right back. Was that Tisdale? Great move by yes. the freshman, giving the ball back off. Great break by the Sooners. Charlie Williams has his second bucket of the game. 57-50, Oklahoma, 13-40 left to play. Let's talk about Williams just a second. The junior college transfer from the College of Southern Idaho. They thought he might be a year away. Atkinson broke a leg. He was forced to play. He's played very well off the bench, averaging six points and shooting 55% of the field from the field. Barnett. Barnett. Chucky Barnett now with 10 points. The Indianapolis senior, 13 minutes left. Nine point lead, Oklahoma. Clark, Andrews, Combs. 23 points for Leroy Combs. Well, he's just doing an excellent job. They're doing a good job of getting the ball down low. He's probably gonna have to get some additional help outside from his other teammates. Little. the Oklahoma State coach wanted a traveling call. Spin dribble there by Little. He comes up. He'll give it to, to time right here. He steps in and Combs that time was coming in right there on the play into to Jones. Picks up his fourth foul and that's got to be a key. He's got 23 points. have been most of their offense. The loss of Combs based on what he's, the way he's played this evening would be near disastrous for Oklahoma State. Jones at the line, four points. As you mentioned, Combs, the second team all big eight last year. He's led the scoring and rebounding not only last year, but he leads it for the team again this year. So that's a severe loss. He gets it. Five points for Jones, eight point lead. Oklahoma, we're down now to just 12 20 left in the game. Oklahoma in the zone. Three seconds, three seconds. Williams. Stand up, stand up. Home. Intimidation on that shot by Tisdale on Williams that time. Oh, what a save by Andrews. Matt Clark. Pennell rebounds. Chucky Barnett. is called for his third foul. That's the 15th foul on Oklahoma State. It was a great 
outlet pass by Pinnell that time. Here's a play just a while ago. Watch Lorenzo Andrews here leaping high up over the chairs, saves the ball. Watch him leap back, get back in the action. You think these kids aren't keyed up for this game? Little but inbounds the ball to Jones. Oklahoma 60, Oklahoma State 52. Little, he's deadly. Chris cannot give that guy room. David Little right there. 6'7 senior. 20 points for Little. Biggest lead of the game. 10 points. Right now, Oklahoma State, the crowd's going wild. Have some poise. They need a basket here. They need to keep it below 10. You've got to get a good shot. Turnover. Trying to get the ball inside to Combs. Well, another thing is a factor there is that Combs now has to be careful on both ends, offense and defense. He can't go as aggressive for that ball, probably trying to keep away from that fifth foul. And it's obvious how important he is to Oklahoma State as Paul Hansen has elected to keep him in. Well, his bench, as we said, they go to six people, uh, seven very seldom. David Little, who averages 19.9 a game, puts Oklahoma up by 12. David Taylor, number 24, just checked in. Here's Pinnell. Tisdale. Oh. Boy, Paul Hans is calling timeout, but he is complaining again. Tisdale celebrating with Little, and this place is going wild. Hanson's mad about the call. He's going to give the basket, but he wants the offensive foul or charging foul. But there was no call. 66-52 Oklahoma. Let's pause for these messages. People, the staffs of these two fine universities, they always help us. For Oklahoma State University, athletic director Dr. Richard Young, head basketball coach Paul Hansen, Pat Quinn, the sports information director. For our hosts here at Norman, the University of Oklahoma, Wade Walker, the athletic director, Billy Tubbs, the head basketball coach, Mike Treps, the sports information director. Oklahoma has been particularly impressive these last three to four minutes with their transition game. They've been able to get two and one and sometimes three and one fast breaks, and they have really capitalized. And number 23 there, Wayman Tisdale, has really sparkled these last few moments. Well, I just made that note myself, Ray. Right? The fast break here is broke it open for Oklahoma, and Oklahoma's going to have to try and cut that down, jam the outlet pass, or get somebody back quick on defense. David Taylor. 14-point lead, but in this time type of game, they have the firepower to come back, and there's two quick ones. Lorenza Andrews hits. 12 points for Andrews. Oklahoma State extending the defense now, coming with a little trap action, going to force the play, try to get some turnovers. As I said, they're 12 down, try and get back in it with 10 to play. Pinnell. Chucky Barnett. Where they had the Combs on, on a switch there on Tisdale for a while, that'd be real trouble. With his fourth foul. This is Matt Clark. Oh, Pennell. That is Vintage Clark right there. That's what he likes to do is get you one-on-one -on -one step away and muscle that ball to the basket. Pennell extremely quick. Watch him right here. Had a little head and shoulder fake there. Pulls up, change of pace, then goes strong. Gets an edge right there on Pennell. Up. Pennell grabs him across the wrist. And probably the best bet right here is to make Clark go to the line and hit two. Now, Clark is only two of five in free throws. He could cut this lead that was 14 down to 10 if he converts this one with 9.54 left to play in the game. Lead pass for Barnett. Out of bounds, Oklahoma. Crenshaw, the type of defense you do not like to see. He got, uh, let the man beat him, but he got reached behind, which these kids can do so well nowadays, and got the ball batted away and saved two points. I, I go back to Tisdale on that. Most young kids want to put the ball on the floor. He kept, keeps it up high, takes it up, and shoots the ball. 
21 points, by the way, for Tisdale. Andrews. An air ball, and here comes Pinnell. Almost lost control. Barnett. Holmes to Matt Clark. Oh, what a move. What a move. You see Little that time plan on him. He was waiting. He knew he was going to get the charge. And just with great quickness, he just leaned in and jumped away and laid it up left-handed. Great play by Clark. As I said, that is vintage Mac, Matt Clark. Almost a steal. Out of bounds, Oklahoma. Ten-point lead. 8.58 remaining. Little to Jones. Paul Hansen there explaining some things to Charles Williams. Maybe he's going to get him back in the basketball game. Got to give Oklahoma State credit. They were down by 14. They could have folded their tent and quit on the road, but they're battling back. They're in the basketball game. Tisdale being very careful not to commit his... Uh -oh. There you go. You see Little hold up his hand. Five fouls, and that's the problem. You're going to look at a dejected and disappointed Combs. Paul Hansen can't believe it. Here's Combs. He's got four. Got to be careful. Steps in. Little moves in. He's moving all the way. Little that time. That that foul could have gone either way on that particular play. So with 8.40 left, Leroy Combs, who has absolutely had a sensational outing, commits his fifth personal foul. Oklahoma 68. Oklahoma State 60, and Leroy Combs, Oklahoma City senior. Twenty-five points. Substituting for him, played in the first half, did Charles Williams, Dill City, Oklahoma sophomore. He scored four points in the first half, but at the line, David Little. And that's no place for him to be from an Oklahoma State point of view, except he finally missed one. Matt Clark. Now we must keep in mind, Oklahoma State was down by 14. They closed to within eight. Andrews. The field goal counts. And he is fouled. Great offensive board work by Oklahoma State. And then we'll see the tail end of this play. Here it is again. Steps in between. Comes off the glass. Follows it. Keeps the ball alive, which is important. Back around. Again, Little can't control it. Comes out. He plays the passing lane here on the fast break real well. Lorenzo comes in. Steps up. Off off the glass. And he'll go to the line for the three-pointer. And we have got a basketball game. You better believe we do. At the line will be Lorenzo Andrews. He's two of two in free throws. 14 points for Andrews. Tisdale goes out. Overton comes in. Good look at Bo there, a former Oklahoma High School Player of the Year. His dad, Claudel, former pro player. From a 14-point deficit, the Cowboys have battled to within five. 8-10 left. Overton in the backcourt. Double teamed. Steal. Clark. Oh, the jam. We have a three-point game. Timeout for Tubbs. I think he's going to... Yeah, he... I saw him up. <laughs> a tremendous deficit. Cutting surge by the Cowboys. The score, 68-65, Oklahoma. Let's pause for these messages. Well, Oklahoma State has been putting on pressure three-quarter, and you'll see the trap. The important thing here, they've got him in trouble, is not to foul. They don't. They cut off the passing lane right here. A good lead pass to Matt Clark. He goes up and stuffs the ball, 68-65, and the Cowboys are coming on strong. Meanwhile, Billy Tubbs, the Oklahoma coach, has hurriedly got Wayman Tisdale back in the game. Now he's playing with three personal fouls. Jones, Pennell, seven and a half minutes left. Oklahoma right now just wheeling the basketball around. The 
one man who is not involved in the rotation right now, Tisdale. I use the word lurking <laughs> underneath because that's where he operates. You see, Mac Clark just is backing off Pinnell, trying to help inside deep. Barnett, now Pinnell. To Tisdale. Boy, he draws a crowd, doesn't he, when it comes inside? <laughs> Like bees on honey when he gets it. That actually was a low percentage shot that Barnett hits it. Well, right this year maybe for Barnett, the way he's been playing, he's had a tough time. Last year it would have been a cinch two for him, and it's Oklahoma's going to need the offense out of Barnett. As Little the year had goes great out. position there for that rebound. A five-point lead for Oklahoma and the ball. Six and a half minutes left. Billy Cobb signaling his players. Barnett loses it out of bounds. Turnover. You know, Paul Hansen made a decision. When they drop 14 down, they come with that three-quarter press. Either you get in the ball game, in that type of situation, or you get out. He got his club back in the game tonight. David Taylor back in the game, number 20. In the lane. Tisdale rebounds off the miss by Crenshaw. This is where you miss Combs right now, who can operate down inside, and with Tisdale having some foul trouble, he would let him go. Tisdale is fouled by Williams. Billy Cubs talking to his back quarter, Jan Pinnell, and Tisdale at the line is one of two. Twenty two points for Tisdale. Six minutes, two seconds left. Oh, did Crenshaw oh, get did up? Crenshaw sweeps the board. Skywalker that time. Self to Matt Clark. Three seconds. Little to Pinnell. Barnett. Just like a hockey play there. He centered it back to the goal, got lucky, found a man, and they came up with two. Eight-point lead now. On that kick out on the break, Matt Clark gambled and tried to take a charge up front and allowed him to get a mismatch. Andrews hits the bucket with 522 left. 73-67. Last touch by Charles Williams. Oklahoma out of bounds, leading by six. A lot of action. You see the ball tipped away, goes behind Barnett, and Oklahoma plays it with David Little bringing it inbound. Pinnell working against Andrews. Barnett. <laughs> to Andrews. <laughs> Oklahoma has played Clark. a Andrews doing a good rebounding job, and he is fouled by Barnett. This is interesting right here. I think he's tried to start to put the ball back at the basket, but I'm sure they will not get the two shots. Let's, no, they're waving it out. I'm sure in that play they're going to give it to him out of bounds, but I think he actually started on the rebound to want to go back when he got fouled. Now that's a six-team foul on Oklahoma, so the next one could be very important. But they're playing a somewhat a, a passive sort of a defense at the moment. Andrews, no. And there was Jones. As I mentioned, Oklahoma State is more of a penetrating type ball club. They've got Combs out of there, so they've gone to that zone and going to force Oklahoma State to hit it from outside and try and take away the easy stuff. Barnett working against Clark. Pinnell. Jones. Barnett. Watch the defense now. You see some Oklahoma State kids actually walking in defense. It's passive. They really made a run. I think it's taken a lot of energy out of them. Matt Clark with his quick hands gets a steal. Foul by Little. Now we'll have a shooting foul. And every foul after this will result in one and one for Oklahoma State. Good ball handling. As we see the steal right there, Matt Clark with quick hands. 
up to Andrews. He passes it off right back. Catches it in front of Little. Little comes across and chops him across the wrist. Two big free throws for Andrews, who Andrews is a good free thrower. is three of three in free throws. Every time we say they're a good I free thrower, it. they miss. If we say he's not too good a free thrower, they bang home two. <laughs> Andrews could bring Oklahoma State to within five. We're talking about the fatigue, and that chart starts to show up in the play, and that may be responsible for a couple of missed free throws by Andrews. And Charles Williams commits the foul. Boy, that is costly right there. You miss two, you catch a foul, come down the other end, and it could be a four-point swing again. At the line, Charles Jones. He has been to the line twice. Hit one. Five points overall. 4.05 left to play. Matt Clark comes up with it. Andrews. Great penetration by Clark. And an important thing there, Andrews goes to the basket so that he gets the lane and can get the return pass for the layup. 73-69 Oklahoma. 3.45 left to play. Pinnell. The foul was on Andrew. Boy, Paul Hansen is livid. He come off the bench and looked, acted like it was a delayed call because it did not get the call right at first. You notice Paul Hansen right there. He is on the official. Watch Overton. They lost the man back here. But now he double pumps it, hits the ball right there. Nothing called, and then comes late. Jan Pinnell, first time at the line tonight. That's the fourth foul on Andrews. Leroy Combs fouled out much earlier. Combs, after scoring 25 points, fouled out with 8.40 remaining. Pinnell coming into this game, 86.5 from the free throw line. In the first half, Ray, I mentioned about fatigue because they only go really six players. Both teams sometimes drop into seven for a little bit. But fatigue, I mentioned, might become a problem coming down the line. I think we're seeing some of it in the shooting. Straight up! Straight up! Great block. Tisdale blocked it, but Crenshaw stayed with it. Got to give him courage. Five points, and now Oklahoma leads by three. Foul on Crenshaw. Here we'll see the pass to Overdale. Just has a good chance looking at for the interception, but comes up over the top. No doubt about that call. And Overton, a good free throw shooter. Overton, six points all in the first half. Oklahoma by four, 3-11 remaining. Bo Overton, Ada, Oklahoma senior, averages 10 points a game. Matt Clark. Underneath. You're pushing it, man. Oh, boy. DeBrow emphasizing. John DeBrow really jawing against David Little. And Tubbs. that is his fourth foul. Tubbs talking with DeBrow as he went back to, but not, uh, not arguing a whole lot as you look at Billy. Uh, things are getting tight, 75-71. Now Andrews missed two free throws a moment ago. Notice the hands on, you know, we always talk about tiring. You start reaching for that waist and bending a little bit. I, I'm sure the fatigue is, is really playing a part in these kids right now. It's going to be whoever can really gut it out for three minutes and four seconds. 20 points for Andrews. Little rebounds. 75-72 Oklahoma. Overton and Pinnell. Overton can it. Every point now, of course, is a big one. Nine points for Overton. Five-point lead, Oklahoma. 
Andrews. To Pennell. Tough break for Oklahoma State fans right there because they had a couple of good cracks inside. Billy Tubbs coming off, motioning for five. We'll see what the five play is, whether they're going to go a little play. That's into Tisdale, looks like. Tisdale misses. This is Matt Clark. Boy, the penetration by Clark. He's just weaving his way and finding his way for the open spot, and a great job of giving the ball off. Crenshaw stopped that time to avoid the charge. There's Crenshaw a double has up. seven points now. Overton really used his head. He saved that five-second jump ball rule, or in this case, out of bounds, with 1.49 left. Oklahoma 77, Oklahoma State 74. Well, I can't see Oklahoma State doing anything except what they've done when they went fell 14 points behind and it certainly paid off Gary in their aggressive defense. It brought them from 14 back at one time to within two or three. Now they're within three and their Leroy Combs has been missing since uh, we had eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. In other words they've played without him almost seven minutes. Well, they've done a tremendous job. I mentioned earlier, they got 14 points down. You're on the road, so you're going to go off with the press. As I said, you're either going to get back in the basketball game, or if they beat the press and hurt you, the game gets away and you're out of it. He made that decision. It's worked for Paul Hansen tonight, and they've got a, a really a great chance to come away yet with a win on the road. The ball will belong to Oklahoma out of bounds. Bo Overton will inbounds the ball. His teammates are Pinnell. Barnett, Little, and Tisdale, Oklahoma State, Self, Andrews, Clark, Williams, Crenshaw. Ray, as you mentioned, Overton made a smart play in the backcourt. It would have been a 10-second call if he had not called the timeout. Probably in there he saved it. So it would not have been a five-second call since it's in the backcourt, but he saved the 10-second call. 135 left. To Overton. Working against Andrews, 125. Oklahoma by three. They're in that delay situation now, and they've got the free throw shooters handling the ball outside. Barnett, Overton, and they'll bring Little. Two of them, Little and Overton, 85% plus free throw shooters. There's Barnett. Cut off, comes outside with a minute left. Barnett. Crenshaw did not recover in time. He has to be playing the man in that particular situation. He had to look to get a charge. 14 points for Barnett. Andrews, no. No, oh, what a jam. Follow up beautifully by Crenshaw. And we again have a three point game. Oklahoma 34 seconds left. Oklahoma State should have been calling timeout right there and dead in the clock with three down. We've got to go out and make something happen. 24 seconds. Uh -oh, that will go two. Now that's a bad play right there. And I'm not coming down on, on uh, Williams, but he's a young player, a junior college transfer. You've got to go out and make that foul with an intention to get the ball and make it look like you're going after it, even though everybody knows that you're trying to get the foul and make him go to the line. Now you put him up there, you take some of the pressure off by the free throw shooter knowing that he's going to get two rather than having to hit the front end of a one and one. The free throw shooter when play resumes will be Bo Everton. Meanwhile Calvin Pierce who played in the first half. Chicago Illinois Junior. A good money player over there. I gotta say our producer has done such a great job. Daryl Landon, it's his birthday. Daryl, you couldn't get a better birthday present than to come to a game like this and have the opportunity to watch. With 22 seconds remaining, a timeout has been called here at the Lloyd Noble Center on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. 
If there is ever any doubt, the Big 8 Conference basketball has been on the upturn. This performance tonight by these two really outstanding teams would dispel any doubts. Well, these teams can play with just about anybody. This is a great basketball game, and I feel like that they've always been able to play with anybody, Ray. The style's been a little bit different. This is a little bit more wide open up and down the court than they've seen in the past years. But a lot of people are saying, some coaches this league and otherwise, that Wayman Tisdale may be the most dominating influence on the game in the Big 8 since Chamberlain. The executive producer of Big 8 basketball is Leonard Klompas. Tonight's game has been produced by Daryl Landrum, directed by Gary Clem. Great pictures, Gary. Associate producers Paul Carlson and Marcia Turner. 22 seconds left at the line. Bo Overton, the steady man, the point man. He and Pinnell have been alternating as point men. Oklahoma has two men in the backcourt, Little and Pierce. 81-76, this is Matt Clark. Batted away by Little, out of bounds with 15 seconds left. Oklahoma State trailing by five. Good hands by Little, but good play by Matt Clark to force something, try and get it in there, maybe get a three-pointer, they're down five. So, gets out. the field goal. 11 seconds left. This one isn't over. Oklahoma's 81. Oklahoma State 78 and on Tuesday Gary <laughs> will be at Stillwater when Oklahoma State entertains a team coached by a man I always love to watch coach and that's Jack Hartman. I had a chance to uh, televise games when he had those great teams at Southern Illinois and of course he's gone on from there to tremendous success at Kansas State and although he has a young team this year you always have the feeling that he's going to come up with something. Incidentally, our production facilities this evening have been supplied by Clearwater, Dallas, Texas, and Cruise Unlimited of Crestwood, Kentucky. Oklahoma 81, Oklahoma State 78. Ray, two years ago, Oklahoma State won both games. One was an 11-pointer, the other one a two-pointer. Last year, Oklahoma won both of them, a three-pointer, a two-pointer, and two overtimes. Here we are again tonight between these two clubs, 81 to 78 with 11 seconds. So it's been a battle, a <laughs> tough on coaches in this series. And Saturday's outstanding Big 8 schedule. Oklahoma State will visit Johnny Orr's Cyclones at Iowa State, Colorado at Oklahoma, Nebraska at Missouri, Kansas at Kansas State. Out of bounds. Overton for Oklahoma. To Little. Foul on Self. Nine seconds left. Good break to the basketball that time against the press by Little. They wanted to said to always get it to that good free throw, but he did a good job of freeing himself up. 22 points for David Little. One and one. Self. Five seconds. Yes. One second left. And that second went off the clock before anything else could happen. Paul Hansen and Billy Tubbs shake hands, as do the assistant coaches. I hope that those of you viewing this game would have the same thoughts that I know I have right now. And there's Billy in that bright red jacket. Billy